you guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing a fill-in on my poly gel toes i do have a previous video for the newcomers so if you want to see how i started out with these go back to that video but if you want to see how i did my poly gel fill-in just stay tuned Now I did spray my toes down like I did before with uh, alcohol to make sure they are kind of cleaned off before I start doing my enhancements uh, or my removal. Well, as you can see here, I am removing like the charms that I did have. And when I say those charms stayed on, they stayed on. Okay. I had no issues. So I do definitely recommend that Bacart gel product for your like jams and stuff now I will say I didn't have any lifting at all or anything like that only thing that did happen was on my right foot my pinky toenail came off now if you watch my previous video you already know I don't have no pinky toenail like that so when it came off I was kind of expecting for it to because I had a little bit of toenail to work with okay but nonetheless it the enhancement came off my little nub was still there still just nubbing along okay <laughs> Now, as you seen earlier, I am using my five in one drill bit to take off the gel polish um, and remove any small like lifted parts if there are any. And I'm also using my five in one drill bit to kind of file down my nails to make them a little bit shorter, but also still maintaining that shape. I actually love using my five in one drill bit for that specifically. Now I did have someone ask me, hey, what speed are you using for your drill? I'm going to be completely honest. I do not pay attention to exact speeds and all that good stuff. I do what is most comfortable for me and I definitely recommend you do that for yourself as well. So as far as speed, just do what works for you. Also, I forgot to add that throughout the course of this video, you might see me going back and forth between my left foot and my right foot. 
I didn't want to include my left foot throughout the whole video because it's just too much time I didn't want to have a super long video for that reason so if you're confused that's why at this point I am taking my cuticle pusher and I'm just you know pushing back the cuticle being really gentle with myself um, don't you don't hurt yourself just take your time and after you push the cuticle back that is when I'm going to be taking my sanding band and taking off any shine on the gr new growth that came in Also had someone ask me do you remove any ingrown toenails or anything me personally I do not not on my own toes because I don't really experience ingrown toenails like that but also as a licensed nail technician in my state I am not allowed to do so that is something that a podiatrist will have to do like digging all in the side of the toes and things like that that's not something that I'm doing I'm not risking my license for it but also even for myself that's not something that I need to do because I don't typically experience ingrown toenails As you can see, I am applying my Mia Secret Nail Prep, that is the Nail Dehydrator, and I apply that twice. I apply it twice because I want to make sure my nails are nice and dry. There is no leftover oils or anything. And after that, you will see me apply my Valentino Beauty Pure Super Bond, and I also go in with that twice. Now you guys, I will say me going in the second time with that poly gel from Model Wands, it was a lot easier this time than doing the filling because I already had a shape and something to kind of work off of. I didn't have to build the shape and make the shape all over again. So the filling process was actually really, really quick and it was really, really easy in comparison to when I did start the first time so if you guys are doing fill-ins just know it should be a little easier for you this time because it definitely was for me
Now after applying, you will see me cure each nail immediately after because for some reason I'm paranoid. I don't want nothing moving. Some people can go through and do all of their toes and then cure all at one time. Baby, that ain't me. Okay. I'm always be scared. I'm always think I'm gonna hit something. So I did cure each section or at least like each major section like I did my big toe and then I might have did like the second two toes and then cure but that's just how I move <laughs> y'all this pinky toe is the pinky toe that did come off it betrayed me so i had to reconstruct this pinky toenail again hopefully it doesn't come off because it came off while i was sleeping so i'm like okay my pinky toenail had to be growing out or something because when i woke up she was gone she was mia she was nowhere to be found so this time i'm gonna be a little bit more intentional on how I construct it maybe it was a little bit too long so I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter so it could last longer now after curing everything I did wipe off the inhibition layer it's like a tacky layer that is on top of the nail enhancement some gel polishes have that too if you don't know what that is it's called the inhibition layer um, but I did take that off and you're gonna see me proceed to shaping them which doesn't take a whole lot because it already has a shape and taking my five and one bit sealing the cuticle and everything and I'm going to be just I didn't show the buffing because that was just too much <laughs> it was pretty much self-explanatory but yes, that is what you're going to see.
Now, as you can see here, I like to use a base coat. That is something that I've recently kind of picked up on with my nail journey is honestly using a base coat to kind of help me out with my, you know, artwork. I will say it's changed the game a whole lot more for me. It's helped me a whole lot when applying like my gel polishes or nail art. I feel like it shows up a whole lot more opaque and I don't have to do as many coats of certain gel polishes and things like that. But yes, I definitely recommend you investing in a decent little base coat to see how that helps you out with your nail art. If you're wondering what base coat I am using, I am using the base coat from iGel Beauty. I've had it for quite some time and I hadn't used it. So I was like, let me see what's going on. So I've been using it for some months now and I love it. Um, and it's not super expensive. I did decide to go with a light pink french tip this time and i didn't add any charms or anything because i just was so tired i had a long day and i was just ready to get the job done and get home but i think this gel polish was from secret nail affair i did do a light pink base but it was like this shimmery pink kind of topper that i did add on top of it If you're curious to know where I get my nail art brushes and things like that from, for the most part, I usually get them from Amazon. You could just type in nail art brush and honestly, any brush you would want will pop up. But as far as like that brown brush, I did get it from my local nail supply store. It is a French tip type of brush. I think that's what they call it. But that's where I got it from. So I'm not sure if you get it from Amazon or not. For the top coat, I did use the IBD Intense Seal Top Coat, and I did add some cuticle oils and things like that, and this is my finished look. They are so cute. My toes look like sausages, but don't mind that. 
but yes it came out super duper cute and if you guys want to see more videos be sure to let me know and thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time